Hi everyone! We're going to be doing a how to get the perfect red lip tutorial today. And um, you know, it's funny because I've only recently started wearing bright red lipsticks and uh, colors because I've been so intimidated <laughs> to try them. I just feel like I'm so pale and so fair, like I just look like I'm walking around with a clown face on half the time. And so the number one thing that I would first do is just go to a department store, you know, Macy's, Nordstrom, Sephora, and really just try out all the products. You have professionals there to help you, and you just have all the colors there that you could possibly ever want to try. And you know, I always walk out of there with like disgusting fingers, like glitter colors everywhere, because that's like half the fun is finding this awesome color. Um, so find a color that you're comfortable with. I have found that I'm personally more comfortable with reds that have an orange undertone to them. And I actually found my favorite lipstick that I have right now that is a red um, at Sephora. And I almost didn't get it. And I will tell you why. Because I am team Sandra Bullock, okay? I love me some Sandra Bullock. I love her. And so I almost didn't get this lipstick out of loyalty to her. But it is from Kat Von D's line, <laughs> and I know my focus, I need to learn how to use my camera, but um, is not working very well. But it is Kat Von D's line, and she has like a pretty fun line. I really can't wait to try some of her eyeshadows. She's got like the best colors. But anyway, it is from her Painted Love Lipstick line, um, and it's in Stiletto. And so it's an orange-red color, and this is just like really the first grown-up adult bright red lipstick that I ever got. And I love it, and I get compliments, compliments on it all the time. So, honestly, the key is to find a color you're comfortable with, and then just wear it. The first time it's going to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing so much makeup. I remember the first time I wore it out in public, I was like, oh my gosh, I look weird. But you know what? People love, love bright makeup and lips, so totally just go for it. All right. Okay, so um, after you've picked your lip color, um, something that you're comfortable with. The next step is to exfoliate and moisturize your skin. Um, you know, growing up in San Diego, it's like perfect weather. The moisture is just always there. And I've never had to deal with um, dry lips before. And moving to college up here in Utah, oh my gosh, I've been dealing with flaky lips like the last seven years of my life. And it's driving me crazy. So I've tried a lot of different things. Um, normally what I usually do is just like rub a Clarisonic over my mouth while I'm washing my face and stuff like that. But um, I've recently discovered um, a product that I'm loving. It is Lush's Lip Scrub Mint Juleps. And I, my focus is just crazy. But anyway, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I normally don't even like mint, but I mean it just is so, the smell is amazing and the scrub is amazing. And um, the cool thing is, is you can actually eat this stuff. I mean, I wouldn't recommend just sitting and eating it, but um, you can definitely um, scrub your lips with it, and then lick them off and have some awesome mint julep sugar. So that is from Lush, um, the lip scrub. Um, just, I love this stuff. So exfoliate. Next is moisturize. Now you can use your favorite chapstick or whatever you normally use to moisturize your lips, but I love the good old classic Vaseline, okay? Um, I just have a tub of this stuff for everything. I mean, you can use this stuff on like your nasty little elbow things, your knees, your feet, everything, but um, and your lips, you know? This stuff is not just for baby's bums, okay? This stuff is, Vaseline is like beauty makeup number one item ever. Okay. So, you've moisturized, you've Vaselined, <laughs> I mean, you've exfoliated, you've moisturized, um, and now on to application. Um, now, this is a step that, I, honestly, I normally never do, and uh, I don't know if that's bad or not, but um, some people recommend that you put a little bit of concealer on your lips so that the color of your lipstick actually like really shines through and really pops. I think it might also help it last a little longer. So if you really want to do that step, I normally wouldn't do that for an everyday, um, more for going out. You just take a creamy concealer, um, what you normally use on your face, rub it on your lips, and then actually dust it with um, whatever your face powder you use. Um, so that's one step that you can do that um, I normally wouldn't do for my everyday lipstick look, but if you're going on a nice night out, you might want to try it. 
Um, and then the next step is another step that I totally skip all the time too. I am bad. Um, is a lip liner. So you want to line your lips. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get a lip liner that is the exact same shade as your lipstick. And you line the whole outside and some people even, you know, you recommend that you totally fill in your lip with it. And um, this really helps um, the lipstick from bleeding. Not like, you know, bleeding, but feathering out, which us, like, you know, these big bold colors can do a lot. And it's not cute. So um, you can always do that step. Now, I met um, a makeup artist, she is adorable, not too long ago, and she recommended to me, um, it's a lip liner from Laura Mercier, I never can say that name right, and it's called, um, I think it's an anti-feathering lip stick, not stick, uh, liner, I don't remember exactly what it's called. Um, yeah, anti-feather lip pencil. There we go. And it is so awesome. It's like a clear stick, and you just put it anywhere you don't want the lipstick to go. And what's so awesome about that is you have the ability to just have one stick for your lip liner, as opposed to having tons that all are different colors that match your lipstick. So I've been meaning to get my hands on some of that. But um, I would definitely recommend you guys trying that. She swears by it. And it seems to make like a lot more sense than having a bunch of different lip liners. Um, so after you've concealed and lined your lips, which are both two steps I don't do because I am just, you know, bad like that, you can um, actually apply your lipstick. Now, a lot of like professional <sighs> makeup artists will actually have brushes that they use. I don't do that. Obviously, I don't do like any of my steps. Like what am I even doing? Anyway, so I'm old school, I just apply my lipstick, and I totally know I'm out of focus right now, but, you know, you just put it on. Okay, so I'm old school, I just apply the lipstick, and honestly, after that, I just touch it up if there's anything, you know, swipe it with a tissue, classic is like, mmm, and then like using your fingers to make sure there's like nothing on the line, and I don't know why, but I have like stuff all over my hands. That's weird. I should probably find out where that's coming from. And is it all over my face? No. Okay, so yeah, if you have anything, uh, you know, smudging or whatever, that's when you can just, you know, take a tissue or your finger. Honestly, that's what I would do. But if you've done the lip liner or the concealer, hopefully none of that's happening. You know, and if you find that you're a little too young to be wearing like a bright bold lip color or you're just not comfortable yet, um, Revlon has these amazing, and you are like t so behind the times if you haven't found about these yet. Um, the Revlon Color Burst line, they have so many, and they're just an awesome, like, it's very like a chapsticky lipstick. So, you know, if you're not feeling brave enough quite just yet, um, I would definitely start with something like this. And I have a million, but they're like in every pocket and purse that I own, so. Anyway. Hopefully that helped you guys um, if you've been really wanting to try a bold red lip and how to properly get that awesome color. And I am so sorry. I've just like had the worst filming day uh, <laughs> for my first video tutorial. I got like the biggest zit I ever, ever got and my nails are nasty. And you know, so I'm not a, like these professional YouTube video channels. But you know what? I'm here. I'm trying. And hopefully you guys find some of this information. Um, valuable. So anyway, I believe anyone can wear a, a red lipstick or a bright lip color. So those are just my tips to get started and really just go and have fun and play with colors and, you know, wear a hot pink or whatever you want. All right. All right. See you guys later. Bye. And I just want to apologize if I'm like completely red in this video. It is so flipping hot this summer and uh, Today has just been one of those days. I'm red, I'm sweating, my nails are nasty. I had black crap all over me like 10 minutes ago. I don't even know where that came from. So bear with me as I learn how to do this. Thanks, <laughs> bye. Anyway, I know. Can we still be friends, Sandra?